Okay, so this is problem number three. And in this problem, we're asked to take problem number two and increase the uh, resistance to 312 volt of 312.5 ohms and to find the general equations for the voltage. The steps that you're going to take to solve this is the first thing you have to do is to find out what form the voltage equation will take. And to do that, we have to find alpha and omega, omega naught, in order to determine the, the damping. After we know the damping, we'll know which set of equations that we'll be using to solve. And once we know the equations, we simply solve the equations. We'll need to use KCL in order to find the uh, current through the capacitor um, in order to solve for DDDT in one of the uh, conditions for your um, coefficient equations. Okay, so let's start. Okay, um, well, we have to find out what set of equations to use. So first, let's just state that alpha is 1 over 2 RC, and omega naught is 1 over 3 FC. So this is going to be 1 over 2 times 3, 12.5 times 200 nanos. This is going to be 1 over 50 millis times 200 nanos. If you put that into your calculator, you should come up with a value of 8,000 here. And over here, you should come up with a value of 10,000. By the way, it won't help you if you watch this without actually pausing the video and doing the calculations yourself and then continuing on to the next step. Um, I don't advocate just like viewing the videos and getting homework answers. Um, won't help you on the test. Just a philosophical uh, excursion there. So anyways, we have alpha is less than omega naught. Therefore, we're underdamped. So what does that mean? That means we have our equation, our voltage equation, the general form, is going to look like this. It's going to have, it's going to be uh, beta 1, which we have to find, cosine omega d, t, plus beta 2, sine omega d t all that times e to the negative alpha t. Okay, so that's the general equation. We know that just from identifying the, the damping. Our coefficient equations will be the voltage at zero is going to be the coefficient of beta 1. And the second coefficient equation will be dv, so 0, dt. The rate of the change at, of the voltage initially um, right at time 0. That's going to be the negative of alpha, beta 1, plus omega d, beta 2. So let's do the easy stuff first. We're given at the beginning, as part of the problem statement, the initial voltage at time zero. So beta one is 15 volts. Fifteen. What else do we know in this equation? We know alpha. We had calculated that as one over two R C to be eight thousand. So we know this is going to be e to the negative eight thousand. T. Omega D is pretty easy, so that's just going to be the uh, omega D is just going to be the root of omega naught squared minus alpha squared. That's going to be the 10,000 squared minus 8,000 squared, and that's going to be 6,000, which is what you should get. So, T, 6 K T. K 
Okay, so now all that's left is beta 2. We've got 90% of the problem already. Piece of cake. So now this is actually the hard part. The hard part is the beta 2. We know this here is going to be negative 8,000 times times 15 plus omega d, we just found out to be 6,000 d2. So it seems like we have two equations and two unknowns. Obviously, or, well, two equations and just one unknown. Obviously, you can't solve a problem with two equations and one unknown. We can't possibly solve this without this somehow. So how do we solve this? We'll go back to chapter 6 and take a look at your, all of your equations. For your equations for the inductor and your equations for the capacitor. And look for something that resembles this because this is what we need to find. You have two possibilities. One is V is equal to L times di dt. Now, if we use that, you, we, have the, we don't have the V, so we have that as an unknown. We do have the inductance, but we don't have di dt, so it wouldn't work because we have two unknowns. If you go back to uh, I is equal to C dv dt, well, we don't have dv dt. We do have C. We can solve for... Um, we can solve for I because we know I is, um, we know the initial voltage, and this is all at the initial voltage. Um, actually, we can do it with the inductor equation, come to think of it, because I forgot we have the initial voltage. So we could, we have initial voltage, and we have, so either of those will work. So take your pick. I'm going with the one that's for the capacitor. I is equal C dV dt. Okay. So we have, um, I need to park this over here. No, that's okay. So I is equal to C D D D T. So we know we need to find I C. That's going to be negative I R minus I L. So you know what? That's why. That's why I didn't want to go with the inductor one, even though you can. You can use the V is equal to L D I D T. The reason why is because this one was much far easier because they gave you the I sub L. That's why I went with this one. Negative. It's just a lot easier with all the information that they gave us. This is just well, V over R, right? 15 over 312.5. So when you do that calculation, you end up with, and this is actually 40, this is 48 milliamps. That's what you should come up with when you put that in the calculator. And of course this is negative, you're subtracting negative 45 milliamps, so it's negative 15 over 312, or negative 48 plus 45, you should come up with negative 3 milliamps. Okay, so good. We needed that because if we have dv dt from that formula is equal to, or c dv dt is equal to i, if we divide through by c both sides, if this goes away, we have dv dt is equal to ic over c. Well, we just found ic to be 3 milliamps. And we know that c is 200 nanos. When you do that, this gives you the rate of change of the voltage of 15 kilovolts per second. And actually, that should be negative 15 kilovolts per second. Okay, so now that we have that critical piece of information, we can plug it back into here. Negative 15 kV per second. Once you do that, this is just an algebraic manipulation. Bring this over here, 
divide by 6,000, you should come up with beta 2 is 17.5. Okay, so we plug that into here. And we have the final voltage to be 15, the quantity in parentheses, 15 cosine 6000 T plus 17.5 sine 6000 T times all that times E to the negative 8000 T volts. Thanks.